Okay, we're going to open the page for the blog article. Hit Control T to create a new tab. I'm pasting in the URL and hit enter. Top 10 CSS table designs. We scroll down through here, we see one example horizontal minimalist, vertical minimalist, box, zebra, vertical zebra, one column emphasis. So the question becomes great, here's uh, what cascading style sheets will do to data. Um, which one do we want to get and how do we get it? Now there's actually a link at the end of the article to download them, but I'm going to use this as an opportunity to show you how to use Firebug and do a little inspection inside of a page. If you come up here to the upper right hand corner, I already have Firebug installed. I have to click it to turn it on. And then I come here and I select the inspector and it higher, depending on what I'm hovering over, it goes to the uh, the node closest to the root of the tree that covers that item, right? So right right now, if you see down here, we at the bottom we have body is highlighted. They keep moving in. Now article is highlighted. If I move in a little more, now P, which is a paragraph tag. I come down, we go, oh, okay, we're in a TH, which is a table header. If we go one level out, if we go one level out, then we're at the table row, then we're at the table head, and then we're at the table. Notice that the symmetry, if, I, if I'm in the article and I roll over things and click with the inspector, it takes me to that in the HTML. If I'm in the HTML and I click on something, uh, it highlights it in the article. Now, we're interested in here, it says ID equals rounded corners. And we want to know how this is styled. And that can be very difficult to find manually. But if we look here on the right hand side, we're going to ignore this first style because here it says rounded corner. Wow, that sounds like something we might be interested in. And here it gives you a, the URL of the cascading style sheet. If we click on this, here is the CSS you need for the rounded corner table. And then if you look down, there's several rounded corner for the head, rounded corner for different aspects. But what we really want to do is pull the whole file down. So we're going to come here, come back here and get the... We're going to hover on this, right click, and we're going to say copy location. I'm going to open a command window. I think I have wget already installed. Yes. Um, I'm going to put, put this in my temp directory. And oh. Well, I thought it was a separate CSS file, and it doesn't look like it is. Looks like it's styled in line. So if that's the case, then what we would need to do, pull it back up. Let me explain what I was trying to do here. Often this would be a CSS file on its own, but it's not. So so what I'm going to do is go back to the way I would, so if it was, if this was a CSS, if it had rounded corner.css, I would use wget to pull that file down and then I, we could reuse it. We're not going to do that because it's not a separate file. So instead we're going to pick something on the table, go to the top of the table, 
and then we're going to drill down into the file and here we're going to start copying everything that has a rounded corner at the beginning All right, there's everything. Hit Control C. We bring over a text editor window, and we can put it in here as head head style. I always have to look this part up because I never remember. And we go to CSS tutorial and how to. I want to do inline in the head like this. Style, close style, perfect. Style, close style, and paste all that goodness in there. Um, we're going to save this and then we are going to figure out what browser window I have your orchid opened up in I don't have it opened up right this minute. Let me get the text editor and see where this is saved. Branch point 2013 orchid. So we're going to say. Notice that the look hasn't changed even though we have the style in there. It's because we have to apply the style to this table. So we come down to the table. And here we say ID equals rounded corner. We save that. We refresh this. Hey, look at that. Remember I said about missing a cell? If we come to this first one, nice source, then we need another TD, close TD, save. And we refresh, and it, look how it has uh, changes on hover, which is very nice.